Tuesday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. God formed man to be imperishable. The image of his own nature he made them. But by the envy of the devil, death entered the world, and they who are in his possession experience it. But the souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation they shall shine, and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The Word of the Lord The Responsorial Psalm The response is, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. I will bless the Lord at all times. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. I will bless the Lord at all times. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing, or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table. Would he not rather say to him, prepare something for me to eat? Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading comes from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 2, verse 23 to chapter 3, verse 9. The first part of this reading speaks about the fact that we were created in the image of God. And it's only sin that has destroyed that image, that has damaged us, so that that divine spark inside of us is hidden, and we're unable to truly follow wisdom as we should. The second part talks about the souls of the just being in the hand of God. Now when this author says the souls of the just, he's not talking about their, just their spiritual nature, but rather the person. That when they die, they're in the hands of God. Remember, in the earlier history of Israel, They believed that the souls of the just were in Sheol. Sheol was a place that lacked vitality, that lacked emotion. It was a holding tank for the good, bad, and indifferent. This passage talks about a special place where the good will be rewarded. That although they pass through a certain tribulation, whether it be the tribulation of life or the tribulation of persecution, their faith has been purified. And we see that in our own life, that when we go through difficulties, it very often purifies our intentions to make sure we're not doing the right thing for the wrong reason. That 
at the time of visitation, we will shine. Visitation, the kingdom dawning upon the earth. That when people see the truth, they'll realize that grace and mercy are with the holy ones of God. Remember, grace and mercy are that idea of hesed in the Old Testament. Hesed, the unconditional love that God shows to those who most need it. The Gospel is from Luke 17, 7 to 10. In this passage, Jesus tells us that the reward for doing good things is the ability to do those good things. We shouldn't just expect another reward. If a master is at home and the servant comes in from the fields after working, the master is not going to serve him a meal. He'll expect the servant to do that work. God has given us responsibilities. God has given us tasks upon this earth. And if we do those, we fulfill our destiny. And in fulfilling our destiny, we have already received the reward because we've become God-like. We've been able to pour out our love on the other. That is already its own reward. The greatest reward for service is the ability to serve. And may God bless us.